الإسلام ديني ومحمد رسول so how exactly should Muslims react to this recent ruling where in our own country of America, um, uh, same-sex marriage has now become legal, it's now the, the federal law? How exactly should Muslims react to this? Well, uh, the fact of the matter is that a more nuanced uh, reaction is called for. First and foremost, we as Muslims understand that uh, the country that we're living in is not going to derive its laws from any scripture. And in fact, the fact of the matter is, in some ways, it's better for us that it doesn't. We actually do want the government to basically not get involved in theology. It's not the role of the government to get involved in morality, in ethics, in, 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 in theology. So that having been said, we also need to realize that we as Muslims, we have our own ethics, we have our own religious law, and that's independent of any law of any land. And from a religious perspective, we of course believe like many other faith traditions that the only type of actual intercourse that is allowed is between a husband and a wife. Now, that having been said, the question rises that, well, should we be opposed or in support of uh, of this institution, uh, of, the, of, of the people that are uh, following this type of uh, lifestyle? And the fact of the matter, once again, a more nuanced perspective is called for. Again, on the one hand, we understand that freedoms for any one group translates as freedoms for us. The more free any group is, the more free we are. The same freedom that allows them to do what they're doing allows us to do what we're doing. If the dominant majority uh, had the power to ban an alternative lifestyle, they could also have the power to ban our lifestyle. So that's definitely a point we need to keep in mind. And the bottom line, we have to navigate between uh, what our ethical and religious values say and what the law of the land allows. Allahu